Take a nice couple of deep breaths in your own rhythm, please. And adjust your posture to be comfortable, if you haven't already. And come with me on a journey to the love of our elders. We all have elders, parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, ancestors beyond, perhaps beyond our knowing. Consider them now. At a minimum, they gave you your DNA. At a maximum, they gave you their wisdom. And they taught you. And they nurtured you. And protected you. I think in my generation about my parents who survived the Great Depression and World War II. I think about my grandmothers who survived World War I and immigrated from Europe. Take a moment and think about your lineage. Just connect in in your mind's eye to how you arrived where you are today. And take a moment and feel the wonder of it, the awe of it, the gratitude of it, that those lives produced your life. It's not to say they're responsible for everything in your life, far from it. But the essence of the core of at minimum your physical being, and now we believe much more, has come from that ancestry. Just honor it for a moment, please. Celebrate it. Now as you do that, Think of those that are still with us, still alive today, that are perhaps more at risk than others in the face of our pandemic. And while you may or may not be able to be near them, probably you can't be, to keep them safe, send them your love. Call them, video chat, but mostly Above all, send them your love right now, your care, your hopes for their safety, your appreciation for their lives. For the seniors that are succumbing in, not just the seniors, most of these people are dying alone in hospital rooms on ventilators, or perhaps on hospital rooms without ventilators or perhaps just in their home. What could be more tragic? The only response can be to open your heart more than you ever have before and send your love. And yes, make a virtual connection if you can, of course. But celebrate their lives, their potential passing, their gifts to you, the wonderment of it, gifts you will pass on to your children. See the great chain of human endeavor of which your particular elder relatives have their important role. All the people they've touched in their lives, all the things they've done, all the experiences they've had that you've built upon that we are, so to speak, standing on their shoulders. Be grateful. Send love. Of course, it's not just the elders. It's anyone afflicted by this disease. In particular, the poor and the homeless and the lost. This is the great leveler. It doesn't matter how much money is in your bank account or how healthy you think you are. This is our reminder of our intimate oneness, whether we want to view it that way or not. So now send your love to everyone. Everyone you can imagine, everyone you know, everyone you don't know. Now is the time for compassion, empathy beyond imagining. Take a moment. Feel your heart opening. 
and gratitude for your elders and everyone in the great chain of humanity and our evolution and this speed bump or whatever it is in our evolutionary process. And keep in mind the silver linings. There are some in the midst of tragedy. There always are for you, for your elders, for others. Feel them as well. And hold, if you can, a space of hope and trust. That humanity is shifting into a new gear now, not a gear of just tragedy or death or illness, but rather a gear of more self-awareness, of more care, of more love and compassion than ever before. It was sorely needed before the coronavirus. It's even more needed now, and it's more obvious. Be an instrument of that. Love your elders, present and past, that you never have. Now and into the future. Love your children, your friends, your colleagues, your neighbors, everyone. Fiercely. This can be your gift in the face of these challenges. So now we thank our elders on the altar of appreciation and deep compassion. And we commit ourselves to carrying on their wisdom and their light into our lives. And when you're ready, give thanks. Come back into the room and have a wonderful day.